Hello everyone and welcome to an episode of RYOBI North. Today I'm joined by Afreen from The Home Depot. This is a DIY saucer pass game for hockey. Yeah. Now Canadians, we love hockey you got and it. we love DIY. Everything that we've used for this project can be found at The Home Depot. We're going to pick up the two sheets of plywood you need per uh, sheet of ice. And uh, Afreen, if I don't have a truck and I've got these giant sheets of plywood that I've picked up at The Home Depot, what do I do? We've got you covered. If it's too big for your car or for your truck, we can cut them right down for you. Once we've got our pieces of plywood home, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay the one out on the table and we're going to take our Ryobi 18 volt one plus glue gun and we're going to draw a giant M across the sheet of plywood. Take the second sheet of plywood, we can stick it on top. And then we're gonna use a nailer to make sure that they're really secure and it doesn't float around, right? Yeah, so we're gonna take a Ryobi 18 volt, one plus brad nailer, and we're gonna do about nine different brad nails. You're gonna take the puck that you're gonna use in the game anyway mm -hmm. to get those nice, clean, rounded edges. It. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually jigsaw out the net and the, the sheet of ice so you get that nice clean finish on both. We're going to use a Ryobi 18 volt 1 plus corner cat sander to trim down the edges of the rink and of the net. And I know you have a cool neat little item that's yep. going to allow us to do all of this using one particular thing. You got it. And this battery powers all of the 18 volt 1 plus tools you see behind me and that are used for this project and for others. So we've had this battery platform since 1996. It's backward and forwards compatible. We've never left a customer behind and we don't plan to in the future going forward. And the best part about this thing, it's exclusive to the Home Depot you and it. you can go to your local store or go online to buy your nailer, your glue gun or any of the other 100 plus items that's available. Once we've sanded down the edges, we're now going to paint the sheet of ice here. And I know that a lot of customers sometimes have a hard time keeping those lines nice, clean and neat and I know you have some tips for us. Yeah, so I've got a trick for that. What you're going to do is you're going to lay down two giant sheets of paper across the ice to, for example, to do this blue line here. You're going to do two pieces of tape on either side and you're going to spray paint the line. When you pull off the pieces of paper, you're going to find that nice clean looking line with no bleed over into the white. Okay, next, what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, the sheet of the net and you're going to lay it down here. And from there, you're going to add into the mesh onto the top. And we're going to use the Ryobi One Plus 18 volt stapler, a half inch staple to staple down the mesh into the net. That'll keep it nice and tight so your puck doesn't go all over the place. And you don't want the staples to be on top of each other, so yeah, I know exactly. you have another trick for us. Got another trick there. So what we're going to do is when you, when you do the first round of staples into the net, you're actually going to use a little marker or a pen and just nick off where those staples are. So when you lay that second sheet of wood on top, you know not to staple over top of that first round of staples. Simple, easy tip, but it does a trick. We're now going to do the pre-drilling for the holes for the straps and for the hinges. Sometimes customers have a hard time getting the hook using their fingers, but Ryobi has an awesome tool that'll make sure that it's nice and secure. And so that is called a eye bolt driver. And that's what this thing is here. And this is again, exclusive to the Home Depot. So you're going to take this guy here, you're going to tack it onto the hook and you're going to just secure it using a Ryobi 18 volt one plus drill into the hole there. You want to make sure that this is portable so you can easily move it around from your car to your cottage, back to your home and to your friend's place over the summer. So now that we've got this all together here, what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you and everybody else at home how we use this thing. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll see you at the rink. Yeah, let's go give this thing a shot. <laughs> 